Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Having Rondi Hollis Jefferson helping from the weak side, while Timothy Mozgov and Jared Allen work to clean up the interior should help the Brooklyn Nets' overall defensive success. But they still need to focus on figuring out how they can stop dribble penetration from the perimeter. The point guards are fine. Spencer Dinwiddie can hold his own defensively, but he's not likely to play major minutes when the rest of the backcourt is healthy. Jeremy Lin is a legitimately solid stopper who might not have the foot speed necessary to stick with quicker guards, but has become quite adept at pushing players to the right spots. He finished in the 90.4th percentile against isolation plays last year and the 68.8th percentile when covering pick and roll. Throw in the 6 4 Isaiah Whitehead and you have a solid defensive trio. The shooting guards, however, fall into a different category. Just look at where the three leading candidates for significant run finished in ESPN. Com's defensive real plus minus last year, Karis Levert, minus 0.84, number 326 overall Sean Kilpatrick, minus 2.36, number 443 overall D'Angelo Russell, minus 2.45, no. 448 overall DRPM isn't technically a rating system, but it's still troubling that all three prospective two guards, especially the big-name acquisition who should start along Lynn, finished near the bottom of the pack with distinctly negative